Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Steve Martin, and we have a special guest for this Mac Break, uh, Brandon Fisher, and he's uh, coming all the way from Idaho. Now, why are you here from Idaho? Uh, I attended the, uh, let's see, Final Cut Pro Summit. Yep, our first summit? only uh, FCP 10 Creative Summit. And I met Brandon for the first time. He's watched a lot of our Mac Break episodes, and one Mac Break episode in particular that uh, he's interested in was uh, episode 282, where I talked about batch exporting in Final Cut Pro 10. I said, you could do it, and I showed it, and Brandon's like, no, that's, that's not batch exporting. Um, so what he did is he took it upon himself to write this little app that actually does batch exporting. So um, he's gonna show it to us today, so we invite him on the show. So you had your own particular need for batch exporting. Why don't you tell uh, our audience a little bit about that? Uh, sure, so I had a client come to me, and they wanted to do we did 40 interviews in two days, and uh, that's a lot of projects uh, to do each individual video as uh, each person being interviewed. And so uh, that's how this whole thing came about, is I went to this uh, MacBreak uh, Studio episode and followed it, but it still felt like it was time consuming to do that 40 times. Right, so let's, uh, why don't you take us on your little journey through your software and show us how, how cool it is. Alrighty, so. If we go to Final Cut here, uh, we have our library open. We've got some projects in here. Uh, what we're gonna end up doing is, uh, first of all, we'll get this set up uh, to be able to be, to be used, and it was covered in that, in that episode. Um, but what we're gonna do is we'll go to uh, the share option. Oh, wait. So the focusing thing. So let's do the, we're gonna click on, on a, on a, on a project. Me. Correct. So you project. start by clicking on a project that you wanna export, correct? Correct, yep. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the share destination uh, button here. And it looks to me like we've got this one set to the default uh, already. So that what that is, is a compressor preset that I use all the time when I export. And uh, that set is the, the default ex uh, preset like you, like you mentioned. Correct. So your software will use that as the preset for spitting out all these movies. Right, so if for some reason the default was already set to master file, you just wanna make sure that you set your default to uh, whatever either compressor preset or other preset that you want uh, underneath your share project. So if we click on this one, um, wh what we're gonna do is then we'll hit the next button. Right. And then from here, we already went ahead and we set up a folder, but uh, if you wanted to, you could uh, basically put the folder wherever you want, click new folder, and then name your folder and It'll use that folder export too. Now, yeah. I have a folder here called Steve's Export, so. Correct. And, and the thing is, you don't wanna click save, you wanna cancel out of this. At this point, you just wanna Correct. designate your folder. Yep, absolutely. So what we're gonna do now is, now that we've got that selected, we're gonna hit cancel twice. So once, and then twice. So now. Oh my gosh, so much clicking, Brandon. I, just, I know. That was horrible. I know. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be coming out where Apple wants to make batch exporting part of Final Cut. But until then, this was a good workaround. That's fantastic. So. Once we've got that set up, um, we're gonna come here to FCP Exporter. And uh, may, I'll just say this real quick too. Make sure that you just start on the, in your list view, which project you're gonna start on. So we're gonna do this one right here. This so, so to clarify, you're gonna select one in the, in the browser. Correct. Um, in, in, the, in list view, and yep. it's gonna export from that one on down. Correct. So you wanna, whatever, you, whatever clip you choose, that's, that's gonna be the one that's gonna start from before it goes through your list. Absolutely, so so this right here, what we're gonna do is then we'll go over to this little app here called FCP okay. Exporter. Excellent. And then right now we've got, let's say we're gonna do five, we'll just export the the next five projects. Now I noticed that the default is five. Why did you choose five as kind of the default number of exports? Uh, I figured that you could just go in and do Command E, down arrow, down arrow. If you had less than five, it didn't seem like it would save you that much time. Uh, again, I've done two projects, one that I had 40 interviews and another one that I had 192 projects in my library. So I just, anyway, <laughs> wow. it saves a bunch of time uh, if you do, anyway. So if, five is kind of the, the, the baseline right. starting, okay. I just, I don't think people are gonna see a huge time saving if, they, if it's under five, but anyway. So then what we'll do is we'll just hit uh, execute here. And then this just tells us it's gonna take less than a minute. Obviously, the more projects you have, it'll kinda of tell you how much time, you, you know, so you can walk away, get a break, that kind of thing. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and hit run. And then that's it. So we're gonna take our hands off, and it's just gonna go ahead and do all of the, uh, 
what I call batch exporting. So and look, it's going through the list and it's uh, setting up and, and setting up for that folder. It's it's like there's a ghost operating the machine. Correct. The the one I guess caveat or the one thing to to be mindful of is this kind of uh, this process right here for what it warned you. So like one minute. Uh, that locks up your computer, so you make sure that you're not going to be trying to click around or do any other tasks while it's while it's doing that. So, so I noticed it just ran the script, um, yep. and now it's presumably crunching away in the background. Right? Correct. Yep. And so if I click on the background, background tasks, tasks, yep. And if we go to sharing, oh look at that! They're all queued up. Now yep. that is batch exporting. Yeah. <laughs> that is really slick, Brown, and that's uh, that's fantastic. Yep. I, I would totally use this. And um, this is this is on your uh, website. Can you uh, show your uh, URL so people know where it's uh, where it is? And alrighty, so I have a website called FTPtraining.com, and that's where you'll find uh, the FCP exporter. And how much is yeah. it? Uh, right now, I've got it on sale for twenty dollars. And anyway, twenty dollars well spent. I know. <laughs> if you need if you need two hundred movies exported out of Final Cut Pro Ten. Right. Now one other thing before you go, yeah. um, Brandon recently took the Final Cut Pro Ten certification class, and now he's a certified Final Cut Pro <laughs> Ten instructor. So congratulations, buddy. Woo. That's awesome. And it was so great to meet meet him at the FCP Ten Summit. And hopefully we're going to do it next year. It was a great event. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to check out more Final Cut Pro stuff. RippleTraining.com. Check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook. Check out our plugins. We have all kinds of training. So thanks again for joining us, Brown. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Steve. And uh, thanks for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio.